Piggles made a run for the toilet as she realized she was going to piss herself if she didn't get there soon. After she peed, she smoked weed. <coughs> Try another hit. Fuck it, why not? <coughs> hey, uh. No, I'm too high to answer the phone. Um, find a more disposable car. This time Peggles decided to kill enough people to give herself a day off tomorrow. She didn't need to kill too many because she was offered more money to bring the body back to the cellar. Excited Peggles spent a lot of time fantasizing about what she would do on her day off. She shut her radio off and connected her phone to listen to Vocaloid music. While vibing, she tried to run over a ghost. Oh no, that's not even a person, that's a... Did you see it? I'm fucking stupid. You idiot! Okay, I already said I'm stupid, you didn't need to tell me twice. Little did she know she wasn't stupid or tripping there really was something on the sidewalk. She thought maybe a spirit guide. that the trunk is full. There's other dead bodies. Now I can just put it in the back seat, just clean it out later. That's it. I think that's all I had to kill. Peggles wanted to take the rest of the day off to organize the dead bods in the trunk and make phone calls for the people waiting to get their hands on said bods to see if anyone would be willing to pick them up for her. Fucking smell like dead bodies. Unfortunately, no one was willing to risk getting caught and even offered her more money to deliver the bodies. So she spent a long time in the shower thinking about how she was going to deliver the corpses while they were still somewhat fresh. The problem is some of her customers are hours away and they were the ones paying top dollar but she was exhausted from being out and about all day. All she wanted to do was sleep but she knew it would mean losing $20,000 all because the bodies had to be fresh and the dude she killed area had to be brought back within the same day. Pornhub was then streamed to the TV. Man, these fucking shows suck. The news came on and suddenly Peggles almost shat herself when she realized her hit list was no longer in her crotch pocket. She quickly turned the TV off and then ran to her car. She knew she needed to drive to the salon to talk to the hair stylist to figure out if Shush is fucked or not. That's when she got a text from him explaining how a police officer picked up the list but managed to convince them that it was left by someone else as a prank. She then realized that the headline was bait. If she would have stuck around to watch the news she would have known that instead of freaking out. 
She then came over to thank him personally and get a makeover. Cameron Alexander is a hey stylist. She always goes to not just because it's close, but because HES been her number one friend and fan ever since she started getting on the news. Hey, I do not know how to Let's thank you enough. He spent the next hour talking about who she killed today before okay, asking so Peggles if he could help deliver the body for, for her for some extra MVP money. My eyes to look like this. I'm gonna look like an alien. What's your scent? I'm in love with it. Also, I love this song. He then hired him as a part-time dead body delivery dude so that when he's not cutting hair, he's taking the bodies to the people that request their targeting digital body bag and deliver to the customer's store for a $50 shipping fee. See you around. Fuck yeah. When she got in her car, she realized she doesn't need to drive those dead bodies in her trunk anymore and she can go to sleep early. Okay, if I kill these two tonight, I won't have to kill anyone tomorrow. No, you just have a day off. I had a day off in a minute. Um, why does my aim suck so damn much? There we go. Wait, did she just get up? What the fuck are you, a zombie? Make sure you're dead, holy shit. Double tap. It's Paige Harris. I work with Lester Crest. Nope. And she immediately went to the whiskey. Not a celebrate. Can't believe I went from working a shitty minimum wage job to killing people for money. My hairstylist is fucking crazy. Like, those Karens must have got to him. She started thinking too hard about what she would do on her day off. Fuck, I can't sleep. I need to smoke a bunch of weed. And she decided to get changed to smoke and go for a midnight drive. She decided to pull an all-nighter since being excited for her day off made her too hyperactive to get at least an hour of sleep. And she immediately starts shit with the police. She started to get worried when her car got stuck on the stairs. She replaced her car in the morning since it was still stuck near the bridge, but headed to the casino to spend the extra money. She made killing the cops on her hit list. That's how long they're killing. Ain't even got a brain. I'm gonna go gamble my money now. Fuck it. ATM? 
She has never been to the casino before though. With you in a moment. Oh, I need a membership. Fuck. Manager or whoever is responsible for the music, fucking change it for me, please. It's bad. Like, it fucking sucks. Like, the, no. I, I, who the fuck plays this in a casino? Who? <laughs> oh my god, why did. Take this anymore, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. <laughs> oh no. No ordinary nigga. He's good about six or seven feet. Oh. Now that's the thing I've in my sleep. So we triple teamed on him. She just started blowing money at the casino and she didn't want to leave yet, so she listened to West Coast classics before going back in. Nice rap music. Okay, I think the song would be over by now. WISNT, thanks for being in the men's room. How's it going? What? I am so fucking confused. I have several questions.
Like, words cannot express my confusion. Uh, I'm so lost. I don't even know where I ended up at. I haven't even explored most of the- I've never been to this casino before. I've been here once. A long time ago. She spent the whole day getting drunk and blew a lot of money on the slot. Look at that. 